was a little bit more nervous <laughs> as far as the Danes are concerned when Rasmussen is about to serve these crucial, crucial stages. Just a good serve when really needed. All credit to him. It's a great serve, but the pressure only builds. 19 all, still on his service. Oh. Pressure's all on Jonas again to produce another one. Oh, I think he's very fortunate he didn't get called on that serve. Looking at that again, I thought that was pretty high. Be a brave service judge to call it at 19 all. by the Danes have brought them to the verge of victory. It's a match point now for the unseeded combination, Porska and Rasmussen. point by Marcus Kido. He's had his moments where his play has been lacking from the normal form that we're used to seeing from him, but on that crucial rally, he was superb. It's 20 all extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. No serve is short of the mark. And now a second opportunity for the Danes to close out this match. And it's on the Porska serve. Oh, well saved again, goodness me. Tension almost unbearable. It's over. 21 all. Again, it's Porska that makes the difference. Will it be third time lucky as far as the Danes are concerned? 22, looking shot he then played a shot between the legs what a match <laughs> 58 minutes of pulsating action in the men's doubles and the unseeded pair this year they were number two seeds last year were Lars Porska and Jonas Rasmussen they lost in the quarter final this year they're through to the final against their teammates Matthias Bohl and Karsten Mogensen. Look at that flick serve, then between the legs. Complete mishit here 
from Marcus Guido. And the delight of the Danes, they've always played well in this arena. This is the arena where they won their world title back in 2003. Lars, Jonas, you've just beaten the Olympic champions to reach the final. How does that feel? Uh, it feels great. Uh, we've been playing very well here uh, all week. Uh, but to win here in front of this crowd and 23 and 21 in the third set is just unbelievable. And, and pulling it off after losing the first set and coming back from there is amazing. After losing that first set, how do you then regroup and regather your composure to hold on in that thrilling third set? Well, uh, the score in the first set was uh, pretty convincing, but but we knew that uh, that our tactics was okay. Uh, we knew we just had to keep on going. Uh, we noticed early in the second set that that Kido was playing less than average, uh, so we kept on uh, pushing and uh, tried our best to to keep him in the game, and and it worked. Um, we we won the second fairly easy, and uh, then it's up to the third set, and everything can happen in the third. It will, of course, be an all-Danish final. What is Denmark's secret? <laughs> we don't know. Uh, this week has been great for both pairs. I think uh, we both pairs have got a lot of, a lot of confidence now. And, and it's, I think it's, it's deserved that uh, the two Danish pairs are in the final. We beat a lot of the, the great pairs now. Um, I don't know what the secret is. Uh, hard work, maybe. <laughs> Thank you very much and congratulations once again. Thank you.